Welcome to this video. Here we're moving into step two. You'll remember from the previous video that we brainstormed, we conceptualized what our dashboard should look like. And we filled in each one of these cells using the questions above. Well, now we actually go into step two, which is using this information to create a report. And just as a reminder, step three is actually transforming that report into a dashboard. Okay, so that's where we're heading. So what we're going to do is focus on this row right over here. And if you can, just as a reminder, um, we are trying to build a report, specifically in activities with accounts report, that shows the number of hot, warm accounts in Texas, California, and North Carolina by status. And remember, by status, we're talking about communication or meetings. And in Salesforce, these are referred to as activities. So what kind of report is this? It's an activities with accounts report. We haven't created the report as yet. We came up with a working title, which we're going to use in a moment. And that's the hot, warm accounts task status by state. All right. Then we have how we want to see this information. So that'll be a following video where we will turn this information into a bar chart and we will make sure that we are filtering or grouping, pardon me, grouping this information by state and by status. All right, so that's the process we're going through. Let's dive in. If I'm here on the home page of Salesforce Classic, there are two ways I can essentially build a report. The first one is by clicking Create New, scrolling down to Report. And these will, uh, if I click on that, it will take me directly to a report. What I can also do is click the plus sign at the top. And I'm going to use Control F and type in report. I'm then going to scroll down and it's actually going to take me to reports. And I can click that right there. What that then does is it asks me if I want to create a new report. It also gives me a list of reports I already have and some folders that they may be in. I'm going to click New Report, and this asks me for the report type. And I hope an alarm bell or a light bulb is going off for you, because that's exactly what we did in our brainstorm. We thought about what kind of report that we are trying to build. And our report is called an Activities with Accounts Report. So I'm going to type in Account Activities, pardon me, and immediately we can see that an Activities with Accounts Report is actually there. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to scroll down and click create. Now I follow three important steps. My first step is to save this report. We have a name. In fact, we have a working title for this report. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right there. Okay. So warm heart or warm account task status by state. Well, what I'm actually going to do is change this to activity status by state, and I'm going to save this in uh, my folder, Maureen's folder, right? And I'm going to click Save. So my first step is always to save my report. My second step is to clear all the preview items in this report. So I clear everything out so that I can see it. And my third step is to make sure that this says Show All Activities, date, range, all time, open and completed activities, and then I click save. Now, why did I go through this process? Well, the reason why I've done that is because I want to set us up for success. I want to make sure that we have a clean report so that in the next video, uh, we are actually going to provide input and actually filter this report type out. This video was just about setting it up. 